I've finally converted a lead and I am going on an appointment. What do I do when I'm there? Hey, I'm Zachary Beats with smartrealestatecoach.com. If that question has popped up in your head, congrats, you're going on an appointment. That means you're one step closer to getting a deal. Congrats again. So what do you do at an appointment? At an appointment, you're going to, number one, need a couple, a couple things. You're going to need a phone um, that has a camera on it because you're going to be taking some pictures. And number two, you're going to need a walkthrough sheet. A walkthrough sheet you can find in our QLS home study course. Um, if you aren't going through the QLS home study course, we're going to include a link below and I suggest you go through that because this would make um, a little more sense to you and you'd have all the key items um, that you're looking for on that walkthrough sheet. So you have those two items, you're then at the appointment. The first thing I would do is as soon as I get there is I knock on the door, <laughs> Mr. Seller, um, I know we booked an appointment now uh, for me to come take a look at your house and to speak with you in more detail uh, and answer any questions. Did you still have the 30 minutes that we allocated to this? Okay, great. You got the confirmation, now you can walk into the property. Okay, once you're in there, I'm going, I want to build rapport and I want to take a look at the house. So I'd say, Mr. Seller, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, um, do you mind showing me around the property? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down some notes here and I'm also going to take some pictures with my phone. Uh, that way, when I get back to the office, I can show my team and uh, that way we can have all the information here uh, to make a really good judgment if it's a good property for us to buy. Okay, you're walking through the property, you're taking notes, you're looking at key items here. Anything that's a big ticket item. So uh, roof, siding, uh, looking at the foundation, um, furnace if you're up here in the north, um, AC units um, if, you're down, if you're down south. Um, any and all big ticket items, HVAC, you know what it is. Um, next, after you've taken down some, some key notes there, you then go to the seller. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, now that we've walked to the house, um, you know, I really want to make sure that we're both comfortable here. Why don't we sit down? I'll answer any and all questions that you have. Um, and then from there, I just want to uh, take a look at a couple documents so I can bring them home. And then we'll, and then we'll uh, see if it makes sense to go to the next step. Once you sit down with them, you answer any and all questions. Now you're doing like a quick tabletop meeting. Before you leave, you're going to want to find out a couple things. You're going to want to find out how much they're looking to net on the property. You're going to want to find out, especially if it's owner financing, what the lease they'd be willing to take per month. Once you have those, that's going to help you determine your comps. Now, you want to also make sure that you have a couple documents before you leave uh, this house. You want to make sure you get a copy of the latest mortgage statement if there's uh, a mortgage on the property. You're going to want to make sure that you have uh, the tax stamps uh, if it's not included in the mortgage or if it's free and clear. You're going to want to make sure that if they were on the market before you have a seller's disclosure if they have that still available. Um, if there's any, any other expenses like HOAs or something like that then you want to make sure that you have copies of those. It's really important that you have all the information once you leave this appointment in order to go home, do your comps, talk with your team if you have a team, and figure out, okay, does this make sense based upon what they told me and what I saw to buy this property? If it does, then you're going to work on putting together your options and you're going to send that out to them, which would be your next step. So walk through, very simple. Uh, you're there to look at the property, you're there to build rapport, and you're there to collect uh, the rest of the documentation. Congrats again, you've been through another walkthrough, and now you're working towards buying this property. If you got value from this video, go ahead and uh, share it. Comment below if you have questions. Um, like it, pass along. We always just want to bring you guys as much value as possible. I look forward to bringing you another video next week. Mm -hmm.